because they have to fold, they have to fold? They have to mold. <laughs> Somebody give me a Grammy. What's up everybody, it's Kira Harper here and I am one of your new heels teachers at Steezy Studios. You guys can find me dancing with people like Beyonce, Drake, Janelle Monae, but today I'm here to talk to you guys about these. Every time I teach a heels class, I get asked the same question. Where do I get the right shoes? How do I get the right shoes? What do I need in the perfect shoe to train in heels? Well, I got your tips today. So for beginners training in heels, I highly recommend getting a booty. A booty is super, super great because number one, it supplies amazing ankle support. When dancing in your heels, ankle support is extremely, extremely important because you have to build the strength in your ankles so that you can dance on top of your heel without hurting yourself. So when you're looking for the proper booty to dance in, you wanna think about something that has a lace up, a buckle that holds around the ankle, or something with a zipper. That's gonna keep you super secure and still flexible enough for you to move quickly and swiftly throughout the choreography. The next tip for the perfect shoe is having something with an open toe. When you dance with a shoe that has a closed toe, your toes end up getting right on top of each other and you can't spread them out. You wanna be able to spread out your toes so that you can feel the floor and have perfect balance on your foot. Tip number three, no platform shoes. You wanna get the type of shoe that is nice and close to the ground. When you have a platform, it feels like you're dancing on the air and there's a barrier between the shoe and the floor. Dancing in the air is not safe. You could also roll over your ankle in a platform and it's really hard to recover when you lose your balance if you have a platform on your shoe. Tip number four. If it's going to have a lace up, you wanna make sure that your laces are sturdy and strong and also not too long. Ha, it rhymes. Sturdy and strong, but not too long. You wanna make sure that when you tie your laces, your loops don't hang all the way to the front of the foot so that you can tuck them in and hide them because a lace that loops very long is a lace that can be tripped on. Tip number five, you wanna look for a shoe that's not too clunky and chunky. Something that's super lightweight so that you can move your feet quickly while you're dancing without hurting yourself. Also, you wanna have a little bit of a shoe that is more flexible. When your shoes are flexible, chances are they'll be a little bit more comfortable and you can wear them longer. Tip number six. Let's talk about heel height. If you are a beginner dancer, please do not go out there and buy a four inch heel. Please don't go out there and buy a five inch heel. It's very safe to start with a shoe that's about 3.5 inches. You don't wanna go lower than three inches only because you won't be able to get the full extension in your ankle so that you can actually train and find the strength in your ankles before you move to the next height. Tip number seven, stiletto heel versus chunky heel. Go with this. The stiletto heel is a lot easier to dance in because it creates more strength when you're dancing in your shoes. It creates more strength in your ankles and you get stronger faster. When you dance in a chunky heel, you're safe. Don't be safe. No heel dancer is a safe dancer. So, now that you know what to look for in the perfect dance shoe, I have some secret tips to give you guys for things that I do to my shoes to make them perfect for me. So number one, after I find the perfect shoe, I take them to the shoemaker and I try to get them customized so that they fit my feet better and are a little bit more comfortable. Because at the end of the day, we all know Heels hurt. It doesn't matter what kind of shoe you get, they're going to hurt, especially if you're rehearsing or dancing in them for hours and hours on end. So, I get my shoes rubbered on the bottom. I have the shoemaker take the soles off, especially if they're leather and slippery, and put rubber soles on the bottom so that when I'm dancing, no matter what kind of floor I'm on, I'm not slipping and sliding. I have a nice grip on the floor. If you can't afford to go to the shoemaker, you can still go outside and scratch the bottom of your shoes on the concrete. It'll create some friction for the bottom of your shoes while you're dancing. And also a little helpful tip, after you scratch them, spray them with hairspray. It'll help make them a little bit more sticky so that you're not slipping and sliding on different types of surfaces. Heels are like point shoes, guys. You know when you have a point shoe, you have to break them in so that they don't hurt your feet as much. Same thing with heels. It's very important when you first get a 
fresh pair of shoes to bend the ball of the foot so that it has more flexibility when you dance. It allows the shoe to mold to your foot better. Sometimes I go to the shoemaker, especially if a shoe is like really cute and I have to have it, but they hurt really bad. I'll go to the shoemaker and I'll have them take out the sole and give me something with a little more cushion. You wanna make sure that the sole and the cushion that they put in there lands right underneath the ball of the foot because that's where most of the pressure will be when you're dancing. Once my shoes get a little more wear and tear, I like to always check the bottom of my heel. Because sometimes what will happen is you'll dance so hard that the tip on the bottom of your shoe will wear down until you get to a metal piece. You don't want to dance on the metal piece because you can easily slip and hurt yourself. So always check the metal piece. Most of the time when you buy new shoes, they come with a little tip inside the box. So always be ready to change those out as soon as you see the wear and tear getting a little bit bad on the bottom of the shoe. So guys, listen, the ultimate tip is this. All heels are gonna hurt when you dance. Understand that it takes time for your feet to get to know your shoes and for your shoes to get to know your feet. So you just wanna make sure that you're finding a shoe that's comfortable. Take your time. If you go to the store to find a pair of shoes, wear them in the store for a long amount of time. Make sure they're not hurting in any specific spaces. Make sure the fabric feels nice on your foot and it's not rubbing in one particular spot because that can create blisters after dancing for a long period of time. Okay guys, so listen, I've given you all the tips. You know what to look for and what not to look for for the perfect heel for you. But I know finding the perfect heel is not an easy thing. You go from this store to that store, you try on this shoe, you try on that shoe. But wouldn't it be convenient if that perfect shoe that checked off all the boxes existed and was waiting for you? All right guys, so I hope this was super helpful. Take these tips, find the perfect shoe, and I'll see you when you take my Intro to Heels program at Steezy Studio. Bye! You make me stand up and switch up.